Hello friends, this video on algebra part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So what is algebra? It is a branch of mathematics in which letters or symbols are used to represent numbers or quantities in formulae and equations to help in problem solving. Now, uh, as you move on to your higher classes, you would see that there are certain problems which are not so simple that they can only be solved with numbers. So let me give you an example in this case. So a problem which cannot be solved only with numbers, not very easy to solve only with numbers. So this is your elder brother and this is you. Now we are talking about your ages. Now let's say that the elder brother says that the younger brother is six years younger than me. So he says that he is six years younger than me. Perfect. He also says that I will be 15 years old after five years. So now he is clearly not telling what is his current age. He is also not telling how old his brother is. He is only telling that he is six years younger to me and after 15 years, my age will be 15. So these are the only two relationships which is given in this problem. Now let's say that the problem statement is you will have to find out the current ages of the two brothers. Now, I don't say that you cannot do it only with numbers. You can do it with numbers also. But when these type, this is just one example of a problem. But when these kind of problems become more complex, now let's say that instead of the second statement, if he says that after five years, my age will be two times my brother's age. So in, in those kind of complex situation, it becomes all the more difficult to only deal with numbers. Only by addition, subtraction, multiplication of numbers, you cannot solve such problems. So for complex problem solving, we make use of these alphabets, the letters. And we assume those letters to have certain value and then we solve the entire problem. So let us look at this case. In this problem, how do we approach it? So let us assume that the current age of the elder brother is x. So x is an alphabet. It is not a number, but we consider x as a number in this case because we are assuming that the age of the elder brother is x. And therefore, as per the problem, what would be the younger brother's age? He is six years younger than the elder brother. So his age would be x minus six. That's quite obvious. So this x and x minus six, we have assumed, right? But we in this, in order to solve this problem, we need to find out the value of x. That what is that exact value or what is that exact number that x will be? So as per the question again, it says that after 15 years, after five years, so after five years, as per our assumption, age of the elder brother should be x plus five, right? After five years, his age would increase one every year. So it should be x plus five. But in the problem, it is given that his age is 15 after five years. So that means this x plus five is equal to 15. So by solving this equation, so we have actually built an algebraic equation because why this is algebraic equation because this equation has numbers, it has the equality sign and it also has alphabets. So this is an algebraic equation. So now when we solve this equation, we get the value of x and the moment we get the value of x, our problem is solved. So this is one example to tell you that why do we need algebra and how do we use algebra to solve problems. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.